How's it going, everyone? This is Dr. Hefe, and it is February 16th, 2021. A very good day for me because it is my birthday. It has been one year since I released the I'm Resurrecting This Channel video, and I'm super excited. I am so happy because today I'm going to be going over this year in review, kind of looking at what we've done and what I'm going to do for the next year, as well as look at some of those channel analytics, which was the second video I released. And we're gonna just combine it into this one. And then finally, just showing some gratitude. So if you're interested in different parts, I'll put some chapter timings down below and you can just click to wherever part you're interested in or just watch from the beginning. So yeah, let's look at what we have done. I'm looking over here in my playlists. And yeah, this year we were able to complete The Walking Dead Season 2, which was pretty awesome. I'm so glad that I finally finished that series after putting it on hiatus for so many years. Then we played around with Humble Bundle, did this Simulacra game, which... I would say we completed, except we ran into a bug on the last episode, but, you know, there was no huge outroar about me not completing that, so it's just on indefinite hiatus there. Played some Monster Train, which was really cool. I'd like to get back into that, but I just have other games that I'm playing right now. Did This Is The Police, probably the longest Let's Play I've done, and it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Then Katamari Damacy Reroll, which was just super chill, super fun, really nice to just jump into something after doing such a long playthrough. And it's just it was just fun, something nice to do. Uh, I don't know why The Walking Dead is in here. I think it's probably because it's by last updated as opposed to uh, what I did in the last year. But we did do The Walking Dead Michonne, which was another fun game. Then we started getting into Crusader Kings 3. Uh, not completed with that yet. That is still something I want to do in the next year. There's still a couple more achievements I still have to get, and I'm sure I'll be doing tutorial videos of those. But we did do The Walking Dead and New Frontier, so was that three Walking Dead games? <laughs> I'm never getting away from it. And yeah, started XCOM 2. So in the next year, we're going to be playing some more Crusader Kings 3, which I'm super excited about. In fact, I'll probably be doing... The next series of videos will be a little bit different from the tutorial videos. I want to do kind of a full playthrough, kind of what I started with the Count of Munshin, who's, you know, he's on hiatus because now there's just so many other different things I want to do. Don't want to play in Germany currently. Uh, nothing against Germany, just that I've played so much in Europe. Um, and yeah, we'll still be playing XCOM 2. I'm not quite sure how far I am in the game. But, I mean, maybe 50% of the way through. So, you know, hopefully another 10 more videos of that. And then, of course, going to play The Walking Dead the final season. After, what, like 10 years? Maybe we'll finally get to finishing Telltale Games' The Walking Dead series, which should be great. I, I really enjoy Clementine as a character. And, yeah, just the story that they've done with her throughout the series of games. So an another goal that I have for this upcoming year is to try to get to publishing one video per day, which seems very difficult to me currently where I'm sitting right now since I have a full-time job and just the ability to make videos kinds of comes and goes depending on my mood. I really wish my mood was <laughs> more stable, but yeah. But I'm hoping to get at least 30 days, like a month of one video every day. I think that would be a great goal to shoot for and to start just getting into that mindset of making a video every day. And while I'm here just talking about goals for next year, I want to start streaming more. I do have a Twitch channel. I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, you can come check me out there if you're into live streams. And yeah, just ask me all those weird personal questions that you don't feel comfortable posting on YouTube <laughs> and just come and hang out. And uh, I, I just love to play games, talk to people, maybe even play some multiplayer games together. All right, now let's look at the analytics. I was really excited to look at the analytics 
um, last year, just looking at a channel that had nothing going on for a whole six years. And now we can look back at what does it look like after one year of publishing videos. So here's the basic channel analytics launch page. And if you look back at the old analytics video, you'll see it is way different than what it was before. We have 8.7 thousand views. Our views are way up. The watch time is way up. The number of subscribers is way up. It's, it's pretty awesome to see. Um, YouTube, stop popping up things whenever I click on something. Okay, so views kind of follows watch time, but not really, which somewhat makes sense. Like just because you're getting more views doesn't mean that the watch time is going up. Sometimes people may be viewing more shorter videos or like they'll maybe click in and then just leave right away. Whereas watch time, I think is kind of like a nicer metric in seeing, you know, how much engagement are you really getting from your viewers? How long are they willing to stick around and watch your videos? And we got our subscribers. It's been going up. It's been like mind blowing to me just to see how this change and I'll talk more about it once we get more into the analytics, but it's been amazing to see it go from, I believe we were at 950 last time and now I'm at 1,110. Seriously, when I started making videos again, I had this thought that there's probably gonna be so many people who just had subscribed to me from long time ago and they were just forgotten about it was just sitting there in their subscriber list. They didn't care. And then once they started seeing videos from me just popping up on their feed, of course they're gonna click like unsubscribe right away. But somehow the channel's grown. <laughs> All right, I shouldn't say somehow. I think through some hard work and some effort, the, the channel has grown, which I'm just very grateful to everyone who has clicked on that subscribe button. So yeah, let's let's look at some more channel Analytics. So here is the views over the past 365 days. So over the last year. And we can see that right when I first started off, you know, we're getting some some increased viewage. And in fact, I have the year over year, which is on the, the next tab. So actually let's just jump over to that. So yeah, we can see the in the light blue is the current year and in the purple would have been the past year. So this is light blue is 2020 to 2021 and purple is 2019 to 2020. And you can see I'm not even like doing better than when I wasn't posting videos when I first started out. Then we had this like big spike around May, which I believe was when I was doing a charity live stream with my buddy Kyle, also known as Bitwit. And he gave a shout out to my YouTube page and like people just came in, which was really cool, really exciting, a nice, you know, boost for me to be like, wow, like this is cool. And then, you know, now we're kind of back to this this kind of stale period. And this also was when I was publishing a lot of this is the police videos, which was fun to play through myself, but maybe wasn't that entertaining for the audience. And yeah, I know you're you're all waiting till I get to what is this huge peak over here in September. And I'm sure some of you may know, but this was when I started putting out my first Crusader Kings 3 tutorial videos. And the piety and prestige tutorials really kind of shot off here. So a huge thank you to the Crusader Kings 3 community and like all the amazing comments and questions I've gotten from people in that community. It's It's been great to continue to put out these videos and I'm sure that a lot of these views you can see here the top views are from the CK3 tutorial for prestige and piety and now mid game tips and tricks is getting high up so I guess people have gotten past the beginner phase and are now getting into more of the mid game which is great to see I actually I actually enjoy seeing how the top videos have changed over this time period and yeah, so so now the amount of views has gone up and I'm really stoked. I'm I'm just happy to see that one of the games that I'm really interested in, Crusader Kings 3 has been such a hit on this channel and has been so popular with so many of you. 
What else do we have here? We have, what is this, subscribers gained. Okay, so this was looking at the amount of subscribers I've gained uh, in the past year versus the year before that. So again, past year is light blue. The 2019-2020 year is in purple. And again, we see this huge spike in April, which I believe is also, wait, why is this May? I don't know. I thought this, I thought the spikes would coincide, but I think this subscriber peak is from the charity live stream. So I don't know what this view peak is. Yeah, so you can see, who knows? Anyway, <laughs> I should know, but we'll just keep going on. Over here again in September, we see the subscribers increase. And again, this is largely due to the CK3 community. And looking at viewer age. So this was really interesting to me in that analytics before from 2019 to 2020, a hundred percent of the views came from the 18 to 24 year old age group, which I don't know if something was off with the analytics, but that didn't seem right to me. And now we can see over this past year, it's over half is in the 25 to 34 year old age range, which makes sense because I'm in that age range. So it's cool that people like me are viewing these videos. <laughs> Not saying that you can't view it if you're in any other age range. But yeah, a smaller portion, but pretty sizable is in the 18 to 24 year old range. Then we get the 35 to 44 year olds. And then finally a small percentage in 45 to 54 year olds. But, but where's my where's my senior citizens? I wanna get some people with some senior citizen discounts up in here. I wanna see some 65 year olds. Tell your grandpa that Crusader Kings 3 is a great game <laughs> or any of the really other games that I'm playing and to come check out this channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You do not have to tell your grandpa that. All right, looking at the gender, this was also something I mentioned was that in the 2019, 2020 year, it was all 100% male. And now we finally have some female viewership. We have 2.3%. I would like to get that up. I'm not quite sure how, considering I'm mainly making Let's Plays, but if you have any ideas, feel free to let me know. Looking at the geography. Okay, so this is one thing I'm annoyed at YouTube about, is that they just show you the straight up bar graphs. I actually just want to see the percentage comparison, because of course, you know, like what, what does this really even tell me? It doesn't really tell me much, because... I've had so many more views in this last year than in the 2019, 2020 year. So let's just focus on these percentages. What I find interesting is that in the 2019, 2020 year, only 6.1% was from the United States. So there's probably a huge number, like, well, actually, this is super confusing. Like, where's all the rest of the percentages? Maybe, maybe just YouTube analytics is messing up. So let's just look at the previous year. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of that comparison. So biggest number coming from United States, makes sense. United Kingdom as well, both uh, English speaking countries. And then we have Canada and Australia in here, but also a high number from Germany. So shout out to Germany. You guys must really enjoy Crusader Kings 3 or have a, I, I know a lot of German people and their English is really good, so that's pretty awesome to see a lot of people from Germany in here. And then, you know, I'll scroll down, see the other countries. If you see your country in there, you know, let me know. Thailand is pretty awesome. I, I'd i love to go back to Thailand, hopefully once COVID is over. And then some more analytics. Which one is this one? Videos published. Right, right. So we had 177 videos in the last year. Again, my goal is to get one video a day, so that'd be 365. I'm <laughs> that, that just fills me up with so much nervousness and anxiety just to see what would that be, almost doubling, over doubling the, the amount of videos that I published last year. But hopefully this rises when we do this analytics video again one year from now. And I want to make this a yearly thing. So yes, that's something to shoot for. Oh, this was interesting too. So device type and I forget why I didn't do a comparison for this one, but must have, must have been a reason for it. But yeah, seeing most of it comes from computer, 
and then secondarily from mobile phone, and then some people on their tablets or on their TVs or on the game console. That that always just brings a smile to my face. I just can't. It it doesn't make sense to me because I don't have a game console or TV that has YouTube on it. But it's pretty cool to think that there are people out there just looking at these videos, looking at my videos on their TV, on their game console. That's pretty cool. And what is our last one? Over here we, we have, apparently I've been listening to Porter Robinson. Shout out to him. He's definitely been a big inspiration through this uh, past year. And let's see. Playlists, right. This also tells the tale of where the viewers are coming from. So in September, we see Account of Munchen was getting a lot of views right when uh, Crusader Kings 3 first dropped. But now we see that the tutorials are really where all the views are kind of coming from. So cool. Analytics are great. If there was something in here that you are interested in, let me know and I'll include it in next year's video. Or maybe I could, you know, just look it up if it was a very specific question and I could answer you specifically. So on to the gratitude. Let's let's go back to the main page for this one. So yeah, I there's so much to be grateful over this past year, and I'm firstly very grateful to my friends and family who supported and encouraged me on this creative adventure. I don't know if I would have ever well, it definitely would have been a much longer amount of time that it would have I would have taken to start making videos again. So thank you so much for your help with this. And thank you for all the talks and advice that you've given me that has really helped me get through the ups and downs of the creative process. Secondly, a huge thank you to all the viewers. So that means you, you are included in this. All the subscribers and especially the commenters, the people who comment on the videos. I think it's really cool when I see the same people commenting on different videos or when people are re responding and replying to each other's comments, that was one of the goals when I first came back to this was to create a community of like-minded people who just want to enjoy gaming or enjoy, I guess, whatever things that I'm interested in. It's cool to see people who have the same interests just interacting with each other. It just, just brings a smile to my face. And finally, I want to talk about the closing words I have in all my videos this year. And, it, and those are, remember to take care of yourself. And in this turbulent past year, I know that I needed to remind myself to do that. And I really hope that you do too. Because all of you are special, worthy people, and I really do appreciate all of you. Even, even those random bots that are spamming links to random sites, I appreciate the smile it brings to my face as I delete that comment. So, once again, from the bottom of my heart, please do. Remember to take care of yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next year.